Welcome to this video. Today, you're going to learn how to use so far. This is a question that a student has submitted and it's a great question. It's a great expression to have in your vocabulary. Of course, I'm Jennifer from jforestenglish.com and this channel is dedicated to helping you feel confident speaking English in public so you can take your career and your life to the next level. Now, before we go any further, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon so you're notified every time I post a new lesson. Now, let's dive in with this video. In this video, you're going to learn how to use so far. There are two different meanings of so far. The first one, maybe the most common, is until now. So you can think of so far as a time reference. And we're talking about something that's taken place in the past and we're talking about what's taken place until now. And this point of now, the point that you're speaking, is so far. The important thing to remember though is that this is an unfinished time reference. So it's possible that our time reference can continue. So if we're talking about tasks that we've completed, we may have completed a certain number of tasks so far until now, but it's possible for us to complete more tasks. This is really important because it's the time reference that's going to decide what verb tense you need. So what verb tense do you think you need based on the description I gave you? If you know it, put it in the comments. It's, of course, did you get it in the comments? It's the present perfect. We can't use the past simple because then it would be a complete time reference. And we're not talking about a future because we need to include what's happened in the past. So the present perfect is the perfect, the perfect verb tense to use for this one. So keep that in mind when you're doing your example sentences. For example, I could say, I've finished, present perfect, I finished 10 reports so far. Okay, so from some point in the past, not specified, but doesn't matter, some point in the past, until now, the moment I spoke, I've completed, finished, 10 reports. But remember, it's an ongoing time reference, so maybe later today or tomorrow or next week even, I can finish more reports and that number will increase. I've finished 10 reports so far. Now, we can also start our sentence with so far, and I can say, so far I've been to three stores. So let's say I'm looking for the perfect pair of shoes, and I went to three stores, but I didn't find that perfect pair of shoes. So I need an ongoing time reference to suggest I'm going to go to more stores. I've been to three stores so far. Our next meaning of so far is until or up to a certain point or degree. You can think of this perhaps in terms of level or progress, success, up to a certain point or a degree. So it's like saying there is a ceiling and you can't go any further. For example, I can say, you can only get so far, so our verb here is get, you can only get so far studying English alone, okay? Eventually, you're going to have to join a program, hire a professional to help you reach your goal. You're not going to become totally fluent and feel confident communicating, studying in your bedroom alone. Just not gonna happen. So you can only get so far, you can only make so much progress, you can only get so far studying English alone. Now let's talk about in terms of your career, because remember, it's talking about success, but up into a certain point, and then it's like there's a ceiling, you can't go any further. So I could say, you can only go so far without improving your communication skills, right? 
So let's say you get to a level, you're a senior developer, right? But you want to transition into a management position. Well, as a manager, you're going to be responsible for communicating publicly with your team, doing presentations, going to conferences, those types of things. But if you don't feel confident with that skill, you're probably not going to advance to a managerial role in your career. So you can only go so far without improving your communication skills. You're limited. You can only go so far. So notice the two verbs I used with so far. You can only get so far. You can only go so far. Those are the most common. So now you know the two different ways that you can use so far and it's your turn to practice. I want you to leave two examples in the comments, one with each different meaning. And if you found this video helpful, please hit the like button, share it with your friends and of course subscribe. And until next time, happy studying. Awesome job with this video. Make sure you leave those example sentences, get really confident with them, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.